Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Shiny is an amazing tool for producing web-based apps. Our users have had access to this for quite some time. More recently, Posit has added Python as well. And now to make life even easier for producing Shiny apps, they produce the Shiny Assistant. So one of the trickiest things with Shiny has always been being able to get the code just right for the app to do what you want. A while back, I did a video where I used ChatGPT to code up a Shiny app, showed the power of the large language models to be able to very quickly produce a Shiny app that was very, very close to what I wanted and was then very easy to tweak. Positive now produced their own assistant that does something very similar. I'll link up the URL in the video description. Let's take a look. Here we are, we're on gallery.shinyapps.io slash assistant. And it's a very, very simple interface. We can see top left, we can choose between R and Python. We have three different versions of output. We can get the code only, concise and verbose. The settings currently is just the option to add your own API key. And then we've got the chat window. So let's try a couple of examples. Maybe we'll start with one of their ones. And we can see the difference between these. Code only is clearly going to be the code only, but let's Compare and contrast the concise versus verbose. Okay, so this is on concise, and once we put in the instruction, and I just use their one, create an app that shows a normal distribution, then it's set about writing the code, and we can see here we've got our app.r, we can copy and paste that over to our studio or wherever we would like, and once this started running, it immediately popped up the shiny window here, taking up the rest of the screen. And then we can see this is their concise description. Still pretty detailed. Next one we'll try verbose. I'm not quite sure how much more we're going to get. And so it runs the uh, code that it has produced. Down the bottom here, we can see it downloading some packages to give us a little bit of a warning. And then here's the preview. And we can shift things around to change how normal distribution looks. From here, we can share, open the files, download the project, save and load the project. So nice and simple. Let's try another example. I'm going to try it and I'm going to flick over to Python as well, just to get a bit more contrast. Okay, well, that didn't take too long for me to manage to break things. So we flicked over to Python and my request was an XY scatter plot, which I could use to teach correlation by having a slider bar where I could slide it back and forth and the points would move to show that value of the correlation. And unfortunately, something went wrong somewhere in there. Going to try the same prompt in R. It's gonna be interesting to see whether this is a Python issue or it getting confused about my prompting. For verbose, you can see that didn't write that much more than it did previously so let's try again okay so it seems like it's a python issue same prompt pretty same description here for the output it's coded it up in r and we can see we've got a scatter plot there i can move things around to show different levels of correlation i didn't ask for number of points but that's actually kind of handy as well Something I found when I taught correlation is that sometimes students would get a wee bit mixed up as the bigger number of points, things would look like more of a jumble at moderate correlations. And it's only really when we get to the strong correlations where it really starts to sort itself out. So that is exactly what I was after. Certainly the kind of thing I'd be using if I was teaching correlation. Seems like Python is the issue. This is very, very new. Only found out about it today. I think it's only been out for a week. And so I might get in contact, give them that particular example so they can track down. The fact that it's still going with R is nice. So you'll certainly be able to produce something. So just to give Python another chance, I went back to that original prompt of showing the normal distribution and we can see that it has done exactly that, no issues with that prompt. So it seems to be a combination of my request and Python versus R, seeing as this it produced with no issues whatsoever. This has been the Shiny Assistant. So gallery.shinyapps.io slash assistant to be able to access this. This is a really nice handy tool and just saves the effort of having to go off to ChatGPT or somewhere else. 
all embedded there. You make the request and then you get to see it action straight away. Hope you found this helpful. I'll be back really soon with more videos on R, AI, stats and random stuff.